In this video we're going to have a look at model federation which basically means to combine models together whether it be uh, building services, structural engineering, architectural, civil, infrastructure, landscape architecture models combining them all together into a single model for the purposes of delivery, for the purposes of clash interference, for the costing purposes, for client deliverables, anything you write, really need a single model for. Um, this process is prerequisited by the fact that we need to have um, created our site coordination model already because we need to have coordinated all of our building models and also have an understanding of our coordination system ahead of that. If I use the Autodesk Navisworks Manage software here I can now simply link in um, B1 and B2 models as well as the map um, created in my Civil 3D platform as well as some utilities, site utilities that we produced in the Autodesk Civil 3D platform as well. Because they've already been coordinated, providing the, um, the model reader settings are correct in terms of units and coordination, they'll all land in exactly the right place. This gives us the advantage of doing basic interference checking between files. So I'm just going to create a new test here in the Navisworks platform and what I'm testing is the utilities versus the foundation. Utilities coming from Civil 3D, foundations coming from Revit. I'm just going to do a comparison between the two and I'm looking for a clearance because obviously one of the things with foundations is you want to ensure that the um, you want to ensure that the utilities are outside that area of influence. I'm just going to set my rules including making sure that I'm not checking for um, issues within the same file and I'll just run that check. Navisworks very cleanly and easily shows me those clashes and it allows me to visualize them very quickly. So as you can see I've got these six clashes that I need to deal with. I'm going to write a report out which can come through in the HTML format but also one of the other nice little interoperable workflows that you get with the Navisworks platform is if I select my element like this which I know now is causing a clash if I right click I have this option called switchback and switchback if I use it if it's on the same platform as my Revit platform I can now switch back to Revit and I'll discover that it's created a new view called Navisworks switchback and that that foundation is already selected. I could resolve the clash um, and in my typical way of resolving these things the easiest way to resolve a clash is to delete the element in the first place perhaps not the most practical solution but certainly a solution and I can go and edit these foundations appropriately. Because Navisworks is one big model federator it's, it maintains the live links and so forth providing I save that file if I'm working remotely I'll just send that across to them but what I'm able to do now is just refresh the links. Navisworks will detect that there's been a change and reload that link in. And once those have been refreshed, if I just rerun the test here, you can see that it's now resolved. Just as a little side alternative to the switchback, if you send a report with the element IDs, which is the unique number that Revit generates back to a person using Revit, they would also be able to identify the elements there as well. And the switchback service also works with Civil 3D and also Bentley MicroStation. Um, as you can see, Model Federation, providing the models have already been coordinated ahead of time and Navisworx does allow you to do tweaks to model positions using a tool called Transform. But I would advise that you make sure all your models are coordinated ahead of time so that it's easy to continue to refresh those links and so forth. Don't try and do that work within the Navisworx platform. Also, just a word on interoperability as well. We've done a lot of work with clients that are using Archicad and Vectorworks and Tecla and IFC. And all of those platforms we've found have been able to coordinate with the information that we have from the Revit, Civil and Map environments as well. So that shouldn't pose a problem for you. I hope you found this uh, video to be interesting and if you do have any questions, please do shout.